Hello everybody, my name is Fretex and welcome back to Kenshi and the life of Jeff. So we are going to be carrying on our journey today. Okran has abandoned us and we are going to be going towards Mongrel for no particular reason because we want to experience the horrors of the Fogman. You'll see when we get there, they are pretty terrifying. Now and also before I actually join the Holy, uh, the Flotsam Ninjas, I do want to do an experiment with R2-D2 to see if they actually will attack him on site because for some reason they think this beautiful being is a danger to them and they hate him for no particular reason so we're gonna see what happens when we get clear, clear to them if they are hostile we'll probably just head back and we're uh, join the flots and ninjas because at that point there's no reason not to <laughs> if we can choose between having an enemy or having an enemy and an ally i think we're going to choose the latter there so yes we're probably going to pass through the floodlands to get over there and see what happens uh hopefully it'll be fine I think there's like a lot of robots over there, but they're kind of like by themselves most of the time. So we should actually be okay in terms of just having like a massive gank on whoever tries to kill us. But we'll see what happens. Okay, so we just run directly towards that way. There doesn't seem to be that many dangers in this part of the map. I guess there are some like random river raptors and stuff. And also some cannibals. <laughs> but I'm not seeing many cannibals around here anyway. So it's not like we'll be uh, killing anytime soon. But hopefully we'll be fine. I kind of like the look of these structures though. I don't know why. Is it just me or maybe I'm crazy here? I feel like this is like biotechnology instead of like mechanical technology. This is like it's some kind of like weird hive ship or something. Because it's got like loads of like weird looking structures instead of just being like very rigid and stuff. But I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe they were invaded by the uh, Zerg or something. <laughs> it's just the remnants of the Zerg. But anyway, moving on. Now... I did mention earlier. Oh, wonders of technology were produced here in staggering quantities. Is that what you're going to say? Machines building more machines to build more machines with. In the end, they couldn't keep up with its hunger. Okay. That was where I was born. Oh, we can meet R2-D2's mother. She must be in here somewhere. We will find your mother, don't worry. We will reunite you with her. So I kind of want to see if there's any hope cool things on our way passing through here. I am keenly aware though, they'll probably die <laughs> if we get attacked by too many enemies, so we have to keep our uh, guard up, I think. Let's try and go this way a little bit. Oh, there's a tower, there's a ruined tower over there we won't be getting some loot from. Ooh, it's becoming sunny. We probably want to avoid the mechanical spiders because I think they hit really, really hard, so we don't want to get killed by those. In fact, can we wait for it to go by? Yes. <laughs> Let's not get myself murdered here. Perfect. Okay, so let's go this way and see what's over there. Also, I'm pretty sure there's a lab there. Now, everybody, I've got a confession to make. I have a confession to make. Um, this is not the first time I've recorded this episode. Um, it's going to be kind of strange to understand what happened. Because I don't understand it myself. But I, I went through here before. I did some stuff for 15 minutes. And I, I stopped to check something. And then the recording deleted itself. And I didn't know where it went. <laughs> So, we're re-recording it anyway, but I didn't realise this until after I finished the episode, so we're doing it again from scratch. Now, just to quickly explain why I'm not going over here, I actually went inside this on the first time I recorded this episode, and there was nothing inside. It was an empty building. So, uh, this time around, I, was, I had to re-record the start of the episode, right? So, I went inside, and it was full of spiders, and they just killed me in one hit. <laughs> I don't know why it changed, but I'm just going to point out to everybody why I'm not going in there, because something changed in the game. The game itself deleted its own history, and it rewrote its own being. It's very strange, but it is what it is. But anyway, let's go towards this tower here. Now, last time I was here, it was absolutely hilarious, and I'm kind of sad it wasn't on film anymore, because it was amazing. Now, if I just go nearby... Is that alive? No, it's dead. Ah, oh, it hasn't happened. Okay, so this guy... This beautiful man over here. His name is Burn. He owns this entire tower. And this tower is absolutely full of loot. It's actually ridiculous. We'll quickly talk to him anyway, though. Because I don't think... No, we need to talk to him. We're ignoring him for now. You're, you'll see why later. So if you go inside, there is actually just loot everywhere. Like, every single thing in this house is just full of loot. There's probably like 20 or 30 grand worth of loot. At the top floor, he even has a skeleton bed you can use to free. So if I ever get like an injured guy... Actually, we could probably do it right now. We can just heal for free without any problem at all. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> now, you're thinking, why am I telling you all this? Uh, well, in the alternative universe, which is going to be the canon, by the way, because I recorded yes, the rest of the episode afterwards and the episode after that. 
Um, I got to the tower, right? And a random enemy appeared. And he just attacked Burn. It was horrifying. <laughs> this led me to kind of just go inside the tower, loot everything, and then eventually go and heal Burn and talk to him, which will be happening after I do the cut. But before we do that, everybody, I want to show you what took down Burn. If I can find one. Is who's, what's going on over here? Oh, there's, there's loads of random skeletons that are like really high level. And they're kind of friendly as well. I mean, look, let's go and help this guy. We got you, brother. He killed it already. Damn. What did you get? I never killed one of these before. Well, I haven't now, technically. You get... Ooh. I would just, well, loot this, right? No, there's no point. There's no point looting this. It doesn't matter. <laughs> this is a different universe, everybody. This is a different universe. Uh, I want to show you off what killed Burn, but I can't see any for some reason. We're getting pretty unlucky here. Or lucky, as you may think. There are versions of those skeletons that are just, like, feral. There's one. We found one. We found one. Wait, is he going to attack us? Over here, buddy. Perfect. It's, uh, we're recreating what happened before. <laughs> this is what happened before, everybody. This guy here ran off to fight one of these skeletons. Look how good the skeleton is. He has no chance. I literally just ran inside and looted his entire house while he was doing that. <laughs> it was pretty funny. But we're going to try and kill this guy and help this guy out. These guys are very high level. Also, because they got like a heavy weapon, they can do like AOE like crazy. Oh, isn't me, isn't me, isn't me. Range. You got this, isn't it? Take this. Oh no. <laughs> I'm not sure if I I think his arm is so good most of that attack wasn't even go through. That was pretty awesome. We must destroy them. Look how powerful this guy is. I actually killed two or three of these somehow, but I think this guy is getting some extremely lucky hits on all of us. There you go, he's gone eventually. Look how strong they were. But anyway, everybody, so quickly, I just wanted to quickly redo the intro very quickly. I only lost, like, well, it's actually 16 minutes of footage, but it's okay. Because, of course, I did different things last time around. But just to quickly explain what happened then. So after I looted a tower, I went to look for the guy that was knocked out, Burn. Wherever he is. Where is Burn? I couldn't find his body, so I actually had to stop the video recording to re-watch the video to find where his body was. Which is weird, because after I watched the video, it deleted itself afterwards. It was very strange. But anyway, everybody, we're going to now cut away to the rest of the original video, and I hope that you all enjoy. Okay, everybody, this is going to be attempt two. I have actually found, by enhancing my own video, the body of Burns. But for some reason, he tried to kill me when I put him in his own bed earlier. So I think he hates people being inside his house. So instead, we're just going to repair him, and we're going to be done with that. Uh, repair Burns. His reboot time is pretty close, I think. It shouldn't be that far. I shouldn't. Yeah, I think she should immediately. Re yeah, there you go. He's fine. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Uh, I'm not using your repair kits or anything to heal you. We're finishing, and then we'll talk to him. Oh, uh, bone. Why? <laughs> Why? <gasps> Wait. Who are you fighting? He's back. Oh, no. Uh, is it me? Is it me? Wait, can we just appreciate Wall just like, Baxter, stay back. We need your crossbow skills here. Is this a, is this a proper one? This is a fully operational skeleton. Uh oh. As long as we've got Izumi, it should be fine. She can just shoot him in the back. Getting a little bit close though. Oh, bit hammered. Be careful, buddy. Oh, oh. Did she fire? I think I may have ruined it. We can always put beds on top of this house, I think, if we need to. Uh, let's have a quick look before we do anything else. No, the beds aren't even appearing. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I guess we can't do that, everybody. I was going to be a bit practical there, but I guess we can't. Uh, let's keep making sure she's around the back. Too close, too close, too close. Too close. Get him. Oh, no. Okay, one down. I can't believe this, everybody. But the best thing with that, we're going to get a lot of experience from this, from the skills of attacking and defending. So at least that's a plus. And look at R2-D2 Doga. He's adorable. Uh oh. I'll go around the back again. Oh, we got it. No, it's a stun. 
Pops us down, though. Izumi's doing a great job here, though. She is the MVP of our life. Problem with fighting in water is that we're really slow at it. <laughs> Did you just kill Bone? Well, he's, not, he's not very happy, is he? Okay, 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 okay. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, go around the back again. Man, these guys are very tough. Oh, wrong button. I was trying to go back to normal speed, but that was not the right button, everybody. Yes! Leaf. Okay, beautiful. Okay, Hill Hobbs. Uh, where's this new guy? Wait, he's not here. Where did he go? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Shoot him! Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. I oh. oh, there he is. Yeah, okay, let's, let's save anyway, because we... Wait, who are you? Oh, he's down. Oh, okay. Well, first off, we go back to base anyway and heal ourselves, uh, because that was a disaster. Let's also help heal him again. Now, the problem now is that he won't reboot for a while now. Who are you? What is... What are you... What? <laughs> Just... Just a ran Wait, is he gonna go and fight the spider? He could probably win as well. He's pretty. He's got. He's this is like a, a high level guy. I know he buggered off. He's. <laughs> what this game is crazy, everybody. This game is actually crazy. Uh, okay. Anyway, let's get Hobbs and put him back into base. Let's also grab these. Well, I'm gonna equip and destroy. Not destroy. Just drop these bits of weapons they have. Our walls really hurt. Everyone just needs to stay inside, I think, at this point. Uh, where's the other one gone? Uh, that's... There it is. Jimmy can't carry these. Very nice. Well, like I said, I'm pretty sure if I... Wait, how is he ever going to repair? But he can't, though. I didn't think about that. Oh, I can pick up now. Last time it said I was, if I picked him up last time, it said it was going to be um, kidnapping. So what we should do then, let's quickly save again. We'll pick him up. We'll take him back to base. Wait, did I do that? Yes, I did. Okay, go back to base, everybody. Back to safety. We are so hurt right now. We took a lot of damage from this. Put him in that repair bed. Let's go up to the top. Okay, everyone, just make sure you're, like, at the top here. I'm kind of worried about him. Last time, like I said, last time I did this, he attacked me right away. But I'm not kidnapping him this time. Oh, he's friendly. Hello! How's it going, buddy? Let me guess. Another adventurer. You say don't look like a scavenger type. <clears throat> don't look at your cupboards. Or the bandit type, over. <clears throat> don't look at your cupboards. Uh, how, let's see... I, and who are you? A retired explorer. My frame is starting to seize even skeletons to come to death at some point. The Fudlands seem like a good place to settle down. <laughs> are you sure about that? It seems pretty horrible to me. Most people are saying mine wouldn't risk the spider bots, so they keep uh, most of their more hostile treasures at bay. I mainly get the odd adventure passing through. But life up in this town can get dull. It's always good to share shelter and strange stories with fellow adventurers. Uh, a shame. Still, I'm sure you had your fair share of adventures. I travelled the e uh, eastern ashlands to the southern swamps, recovering lost relics and lost pieces of history is something that I've always satisfied me. And of course, watching human behaviour as the world evolves and falls. Uh, let's see. You could probably teach me a thing or two about the world's history. I wouldn't even know where to start, but I enjoy nothing more than the, uh, swapping notes and imparting knowledge of the world. Can you spare a few months? <clears throat> No. <laughs> um, oh, I, I, I would recruit this guy. We're going to leave it at that. I reckon we can recruit this guy if we need to in the future. But the thing is, his stats weren't that good. And we've already got a robot friend. So, I mean, yeah, he's equivalent to me, really. 
with his stats. So he's like better than like um, our new guys like RTD2 and Hobbs and stuff still. But I don't want to get too many members because I kind of like having... Um... But before we leave, go back up the top everybody. RTD2, heal. You need to heal. Done. Okay, how are we going to limp out of this space, everybody? Because we're kind of hurt right now. Most people are really wounded. I reckon we go back to the village quickly to sell the goods. Uh, which is actually not that far away. It's only over there. Okay, let's see how this is going to work out. Who's slow? Hobbs can walk? No, he can't walk. I guess what we could try and do, because we kind of kill the enemies in this area. Can we put beds down here? What about here? What about here? What about... Okay, this has to be over there, which is not great. I guess we can do it, though. Let's see what happens. I have to be very careful with... Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, with enemies being nearby. I like how I put a thing down and the enemy immediately just appeared ab above it. Okay, he's past, he's past. Let's go back this way. In three of those robots might wake up again, but I have taken the weapons off them, so it should be okay. We just have to beat them up. Put down Hobbs. Okay, who else is injured? We probably want to focus on anybody that's got issues with their legs. Let's have a look. So, I'm slightly injured. Let's get that out of the way. Wall is very injured. Anoot's injured... Actually, switch out Jeff for Ridley. Done. Okay, we must eager wire the situation, everybody. We haven't got to wait too long because these beds are very efficient. Uh, but we just need to make sure we can probably get above 50 HP on the legs and we should be okay. But it might take a while. We'll probably splint people as well. Yeah, should we make it a lot faster? I probably should spend everybody I can, to be fair, because at least it means they kind of like temporary HP until the end. So I thought something was coming my way, and I was like, oh no! <laughs> oh, she only splints up to 50%. Okay, I guess it's riding on wall then to get more HP. We get a few seconds, then we head off though. And we should be fine. Okay, so we probably made like 40, 50 grand or something from that exchange, because I think we got a lot of money from all this stuff we picked up. And good to go. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go, everybody. Let's go. I don't think I'm going to be making my base around here, though. It, it kind of sucks, everybody. Um, I guess we can probably swim because it'd be a lot safer. It may take a while, though. But the, if we do swim, though, it's going to help me get my stats up anyway. So we need to get back over to there. Ooh. Ooh. Wait. It's Herp. <laughs> it's the same guy from earlier. He's still just walking around randomly for no reason. I guess I feel kind of safe if we just follow him a little bit. Is he like a random guy just walking around this area, then? Because think you to bear in mind, if we do run into one of those skeletons, because they got 50 sats, they will outrun us. Which is why I'm very concerned about running into one at the moment while we're so hurt. Yeah, I think we're okay. Safety. Some of these should be uh, active, by the way, like a skimmer. You don't realize they're broken. You just walk across, it's like, it's alive! Okay, as far as this little uh, valley pass. That's pretty cool, though. I think we'll probably have to go back there later on when we get a little bit more strength. But we'll try and go towards the Foglands next, anyway. After we sell all these goods. A River Raptors hostile, passively. They weren't that strong if they are, but... No, we're fine, we're fine. They're kind of like the, the starting enemies. Well, not starting enemy. They're very easy enemy to kill if you start off in the Holy Lands instead of starting off in the United Cities. Actually, quite far away. Oh, sorry, I was going to the wrong place. I'm going to go this way. It should be... There it is. I think we should be safe just to passive run there now. Bugmaster. 
Oh, that's so sad. Poor guys. Hello again, friends. We're back. Back again. Okay, let's just sell all the goods we have. I reckon we're going to make a lot of money. You can help me, friend. I'm here. Are they actually making weapons, you reckon? Or is that like a simulation thing? Okay, we probably shouldn't sell all. Uh, well, I'm going to sell most of these, of course. We probably shouldn't be selling all the first aid kits until the end. We'll see how many we got, and we kind of just, like, delete them out. That's building materials. That's building materials. That's gears. Sell those. I didn't make as much money as I thought I did. Oh, wait. Maybe I have now. Wait, let's do this. Oh, yeah. Look at that money, everybody. I love it. Okay, cool. Uh, let's give all the first aid kits to... Sorry, the robot repair kits to isn't he? I can't stack this one. Yeah, I think... It's because they're stolen. They don't stack that well. I don't know. It seems a bit round to me sometimes, but... I just thought I bought you a better weapon. Maybe I'm imagining things. I swore I bought him a really high-powered weapon at some point, but maybe I didn't. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, have we got all the first cake kits sorted out there? Sorry, I was kind of distracted by myself. Uh, let's see. I think she has all of them now. Yeah, she does. Okay, cool. So, we keep those. I mean, yeah, it sells for a lot of money, but I'd rather that we had a lot of HP for a good old R2-D2 here. Done! Cool. Oh, wait, while we're here then, if we got 29 grand, can we buy a hacker? Or amulets. Do you have a hacker? I'm going no. I'm not seeing anything hacking here. He's got some armor though, but eh. nah, he hasn't got a hacker. Got some cool pole arms and stuff though, but uh, we've already got a really good pole arm for our good old friend there. Cool beans, everybody. Cool beans. I guess as well before we leave. We'd check out the bakery because we probably want a little bit more food, I would say, because we've kind of only got two bits of bread left. Hello. Done. Cool. I didn't realize there was redheads in this game. You can recruit her. She's actually pretty good. We're, no, not. <laughs> no, we don't want too many people. We'll leave. We're leaving. Avoid the redheads. Get out of here. Okay, so we're now going to head towards the Foglands. You get our next party member. And then after that, we'll swoop into the Holy Nation and we'll see if we can do some liberating. I'm just keeping an eye on this terrain, though. It's a shame it's always dark in this game. I, I know, like, it's probably uh, lighter way longer than it is darker. But then the problem with me that is I always remember the dark moments. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, it's always dark in this game. Okay, so we want to go this way. We probably want to maybe berth around that location you see there that's pretty good though we got some cool stuff burns like oh as nice as people saved my life he goes back home and he's like where where's all my stuff <laughs> i've stolen it all i'm sorry so i presume we're probably going to be leaving cannibal territory now well i say Cannibal territory. Where we're going still has cannibals. They're just a bit different. Well, no, no, it's, it's, I'm wrong. Sorry. <laughs> they aren't humans, but they will still eat you if they capture you. So it's kind of the same thing, but not the same thing at the same time. Lone Shack. Let's have a look. Who's that? Bounty. Skeleton. Holy Nation. Holy Nation. We, we won't hand any bounty to the Holy Nation. Screw those guys. Apparently there's a shack around here. There it is. Is it locked? No, it's not locked. This could be a problem. Or it could be totally fine. Discovered Rebirth. I think that's like a big mine. Yeah, that's a big slave pit. Let's have a look inside. Hello! There's no one in here. There is food, though. Why are you growling, Bone? Why are you growling? 
I'm just going to take all their food. <laughs> We're a hungry lot, you see. And Grog sells real as well. Let's check in these. Ooh. Ooh, this is flout money. There's no one here, right? Why am I getting so lucky with these places, everybody? And there's also beds here as well. We can use the hill. What the hell? So I think this just gives you like a like ten pounds if you pick this up. But there's eighteen of them, so we get like a little bit of money there. Cat, there's a single <laughs> a single cat. Letter to Mole, unique book. Mole wasn't Mole the person in charge of the floats and ninjas? We're not going to read that. Feel free to pause it if you want to read it though. We're gonna take this in case we can give it to her for some reason. Uh, standard grade armor, I already have that. More food though, we'll take that. We need to make sure we... It's because it's stolen, isn't it? Oh, I've messed it up. It's all... Oh, no. The game does a really bad job of... Um, managing stuff. Uh, you can't, I can't sack it now for no reason. This doesn't work. But if I do... You can pick it up. I know you can. This might take me a little bit. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> And we are restat again. Cool, perfect. I don't know why it's so weird when you try and stack things like that, but it, it doesn't work that well. Oh, I think we need to... Oh, we've got way too much stuff, everybody. I guess I could use somebody else for the backpack, though. And let's go... Tops, do you have a backpack? You don't! Oh. I don't think RCD2 has one either. No, we probably should get some more backpacks at some point, so we've got more carrying capacity. Problem is, a lot of my people have this supplies for later. Ridley? Ridley's okay. We definitely need to make a house at some point today. Okay, anyway, apart from all that, this stuff doesn't sell for much at all. There's a unique hacksaw. Could be used to remove slave shackles. Well, we could just lockpick them anyway. I'm not worried about that. Oh, it's a... Uh, oh, Jeff, lot pick. What we should do while we're waiting randomly, let's just make people heal. It's always time to get lot picking skills in case you get stuck <laughs> um, as a slave, because then you can just escape yourself. We can't really loot all this, to be honest. We haven't really got enough room, but we can at least have a look around and see what's here. Sandals. Huh. We'll leave the rest of this alone for later. Oh, it's a safe house for... Oh, okay. If you're reading this, there's a good chance you escape to rebirth and are half dead. <laughs> this safe house is for you to use and rest and recover. You should hopefully find here some food, tools to remove your shackles, beds, and some basic clothing. If you're just a passing adventurer, please don't loot this place or we will hunt you down and skin you alive. Hmm. Uh, awkward. If you're a holy nation soldier, what it says there. <laughs> uh, yeah, great. Cool. Uh, we may have accidentally caused a bit of moral de degradation there, but it's okay. We'll just leave. We'll leave the rest of this place alone. It's fine. Jeff, what are you doing, Jeff? Let's go. Cool. Anyway, onwards we go again. So that path leads to the entrance, well, one of the entrances to the Rebirth Mine and also the Holy Empire itself. So we'll go that way eventually. It's not right now. Go around this way. Do you reckon there's skeletons here again? Because we're back on like the Fog Plains again. Hmm, maybe not. Look how cool this game is, though. Look at all these, like, locations you can go to. They're all, look, this is, like, more, this is more like a Martian, like, burnt hellscape. That thing's pretty cool. And, of course, over here, we actually have the Foglands, which are foggy. <laughs> Believe it or not, there's a lot of fog over there. Uh, stop raining, game. Damn it. I'm actually walking in and out the entrance to the, the, uh, the rain zone. Let's try and go, like, this way a little bit to get out of the way of it. Stop the rain, please. There you go. How cool these plants are. I presume, be cool if like, you had to have water, you could probably just drink from these. Not that it's a thing in the game anyway, but... Ooh! Oh! Enemies we can actually fight! I was really scared for a second there. 
I thought they were like uh, skeletons or something, but it's just low level bandits. Let's kill them all, everybody. It's with me. No need to use your super weapon. Go in like a regular person. Probably should make Jeff torn, I think, at this point, because he's getting pretty good at his job. And it helped the lower level guys. It may get him killed, but at least it means everyone else is more tanky. Let's watch Jeff do his work. Yeah, these guys are kind of like regular bandits, but they're slightly better. They got like five stats than the vagrants. They got zero. What the? What happened there? <laughs> what? The, it's the chosen one. It's glowing for some reason. We don't know why. Everyone held up? Perfect. That was just free XP. We definitely take that. Okay, so the entrance to the Foglands. This is where I'm going to be saving a lot, everybody, because if it doesn't go very well, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> it's going to kind of suck. Unlike regular bandits, if you fall here, you're going to be... Oh, dear. Run away. Luckily, we can just walk away from dogs. I didn't realize that before. It's like, yeah, sorry, buddies. We're out of it. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I think it's because we've trained Bone. Oh, 30. she's got faster. 13 miles per hour now. Beautiful. The Foglands, everybody. The Foglands. Uh, as you can see, it's very foggy. Uh, but in the middle of this place is a place called Mongol, which, uh, Mongol, which is a nice little town. If you can get into it. Is this the best place to go inside? Probably not. We'll stay outside for now. We'll go around the edge. Oh. There's a tired city here. I didn't even see that. <laughs> There's people in there? Fogman. Okay, this is what I was on about before. These guys are kind of terrifying. Let's have a look at them. Oh, we're too far away. Get, get closer, guys. Get closer. Get closer. I'm going to pause when we get too close, though, because otherwise I'll run into them. Oh, what? Where am I? <laughs> the Fogman. They actually are... Are they drones? I think they are drones, actually. I didn't realize that before. I thought they were like a different species. But yeah, these guys will just eat you if they catch you. So you kind of want to avoid it. They're, they're okay at fighting. I'll say they're probably like, they're worse than cannibals slightly, but they also are a lot of them. So they, we won't be able to win ourselves unless there's like less. And I'm pretty sure at the same time, you get look how many there are. They're absolutely everywhere. They are crawling all over that place. They're absolutely everywhere. I'm pretty sure if you like lose a cat in the middle of a long battle and there's extra enemies around, they will grab him and run away right away. So you've got to be very, very careful against these people. I don't know if they eat dogs. I guess they would. I don't think they're particularly like humans only, but let's see. But anyway, so we're going to... Uh, what is this? Another dog hive, I think. So we're going to try and like enter the hive from probably the south, I would say. Only the most desperate come here. Uh-oh, it's getting foggy. No, no, no. Don't get foggy for me yet. So the fog in this game is... Oh, no, 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 no. To be fair, there's only like five of them. 32 skill? Oh, it was a fog prince. What the hell? Is he chasing us or is that a coincidence? I think we just survived. I think we could have died there, but we got like... Oh yeah, they got like it's a fog prince and his heavy guards. That would absolutely murder us. Escape servant. Oh, I was going to say hi. We're not going to attack slaves. We're going to be a nice guy. I'll probably tell them if there's like a location they can go to. Let's see what they do. Let's see what they do. Hello. They're not hostile at all. Okay, that's fine. What do you reckon this is? There's some guy mining. Slave. Oh, it's a slave play. I hate slaves. To be fair, it's the Holy Nation. Uh, 34 stats. We probably can't kill them at the moment. But we'll probably get closer as we go along. If there's only three guards here, we probably could be able to win. But I think there's more than that. Because I really want to be like a guy that saves people from slavery. <laughs> I think it would be really fun. Uh, but we're not... We're going to get um, our friend first. Oh, there's enemies here. Should we just go directly inside? It's over there. I was hoping to go in from this way because it will probably be a lot quicker. But... it would be fine. What can possibly go wrong, everybody? I'm going to save here just in case it goes wrong. <laughs> it's not that foggy, but it 
It is kind of foggy. Okay, I'll take it back. It is very foggy. Okay, so we have to get to the city in the middle. It's going to be very hard to see it, people nearby. There's some kind of nest in front of me. They could literally just come out of nowhere and murder me, so... You reckon we can climb over these? I think we can, actually. I'm not sure what kind of creatures live in here. So if it's a bone dog, we can just run past them. I can't even see where it would be. It's right in front of me, apparently. Here? I can't even see what it would be. There's some creature. <laughs> There's some kind of thing. I can you just mine this iron. It's pretty cool. This is stressing me out, everybody. This is stressing. Oh, I can cheat. Aha! Take that game. We play top down. <laughs> oh man, I would not want to live here ever. Oh, it's like a nice little like. Oh, let's make a base here. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. Actually, it's probably quicker going this way than the other way though to get to the camp. Okay, so how do we get? There's a town. Can we get up here? Apparently we can. Are you sure about that game? I'm not sure how we can get up from this direction, but if you think you can, that's fine. Wait, no way. We're just going to walk up the mountain. <laughs> Don't worry about it, everybody. We got this. Oh, yeah, we're on top. That was handy. Okay, so we're very close. It's literally just over there. Can we get down here somehow? It's like there's a path to get over there. I'm surprised by the lack of fogmen in the foglands, considering that outside is full of them. I probably should- wait, why am I saying- I'm jinxing myself. Oh no! <laughs> why have I done this, everybody? I caused this myself. The game didn't have them in the game. They're like, oh, we must spawn them in. They saw us! But how? Do you reckon we can win this? They're really weak in terms of- okay, we're gonna have to- Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I caused this situation. I did this to myself. I can't believe this. Okay, we're going to need the firepower of Izumi. Izumi! Oh. We can't lose anybody. Shoot him! Oh, damn it, Izumi. Just shoot him, man. Shoot him. Wait. Oh, he lost his arm. They're really weak, though, so we should be okay. We just don't want to lose anybody and they run off with them. That's what we want to avoid. Oh, no! <laughs> no arm for you, sir. They are hides. Okay. Run away. Bog Death Yard 1091 has been wiped out. Okay, fair enough. We have one though. That's great for us. Some people got knocked down, unfortunately, but we have survived the horrors of the fog. What do you get from these anyway? Do you get like a reward or something? No. There's certain mods like I Bone, you do not run off. <laughs> Don't you dare. Kill Bone. But, but. You can't be trusted. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bone. Okay, walls down. If we get someone to pick him up. Uh, who's really str Oh, he's fine. It was just a flesh wound. It's not a problem. There's certain mods that I got in the past. It's really cool. That, like, dropped off, like, cannibals here or something like that. So you can kind of sell them in, like, the, the locations to get money. Uh, oh, I wonder if the problem with these Fogmen is that they can see further in fog and we can't. So they have like a very high like aggression range. But regardless though, it's just there. It's just there. So pretty much means though with... Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> no, 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 no. We're so close! Oh, that was disgusting. Whoever did that. They have gigantic hordes of them, which is terrifying everybody. I can't see any, like, footprints. How do I get inside? Ah! Ah! Did you, did you see how many Fogmen there were? <laughs> that was terrifying! We made it! Friends! Oh my god, that was terrifying. I thought we were dead there. I thought they like saw us, but we managed to get out of there, luckily. Hello. 
Oh, we made it. We made it. Every day. Corpse furnace. That's, that's a good, nice place. What, can I put... No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I just wanted to see if I could put bone in there because I'm carrying it. There's a lot of shops here. There are a lot of shops. There's stuff absolutely everywhere. Um... We probably should have a look around, actually. It's Beep! We found him! Are you gonna say anything else? I think so. I read up about this because people get asking about Beep. Apparently, he just follows you around for the end of time now. He's always gonna follow me. We will recruit him, though, don't worry. We will recruit him. We just keep making him Beep for now <laughs> until, we, until we leave. Anyway, so we have made it to this beautiful location. Have we got anything to sell? Not really, apart from all that food I looted earlier. Awkward. There, we're good. Okay, so we'll probably do some shopping then. Uh, let's set by the bar. So there's a lot of things here we can look at. There's loads of shops. I don't think they're open at night though, so we have to wait till the morning. I guess what we should probably do, is there like a proper bed place we can get loads of beds? Or is it just all these bars? Ah, bed place. The bed place. Oh, that's not how you get upstairs. That's that's the. <laughs> okay, so everyone can probably just we we'll get everyone here just to heal while we're in the city. Uh, Isn't you can be our little walk around person. Everyone else would pay for the beds and they can just rest for a long time. There you go. Go eat a lantern. Make <laughs> one. He's just gonna awkwardly stand there looking at us the entire time. I thought I told you to rest. Oh, you put bone in the bed. Oh, is that the last bed? Well, that's awkward. Um, <laughs> just rest on the ground, Jeff. You don't deserve the finer things in life. Okay, it's me. Let's go exploring. <laughs> Poor beep. Poor guy. Okay, let's uh, use in here then. Anybody we might want to try and look at or hire? Probably not. I guess we can talk to this guy, though. You never know what they have. Random bounties. There's a guy with a pirate hat, which is pretty cool. There's some recruits. Yeah, that other place we were before, by the way, the um, Floats at Fox and Ninja's base. You could hire, like, 20 people there. It was absolutely ridiculous. There's just people for hire everywhere. It was insane. Oh, yeah, so you probably want to get quite a few things here. Maybe some more backpacks and stuff. Uh, it's means backpack. Combat speed effect, we will leave it off. So I was thinking if maybe I want to try and get like another trader backpack. To be fair, maybe we should make a uh, beep have a be like another crossbow bit person. So we have two of them. You never know. We'll, we'll think about it. Because we can buy crossbows here. I'll, I'll just speeding time and just try and get us to the morning so we can actually shop and stuff. There's more thieves. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of stuff here. Wait till morning. It should be open in like, an, I think like five or six uh, all the shops open up. Of course, we've got to be very careful because if you remember from last time, if you just click on a door back accent or click in the building, they go and immediately attack the building. <laughs> it's a bit of a problem, everybody. It's a bit of a problem. Threads. Interesting. This guy's really good. We recruit this guy. Been stuck here in this godforsaken place. It's enough to drive you stir crazy. Take a seat, Outlander. You're going to be here a while. Why can't you leave? The Death Yards, Outlander. You have to be out of your mind to set foot in those cursed valleys. I have done it already. <laughs> I came here to escape prison, but turns out this is a prison in another guise. More hellish than the last. Should we try and... Um... I was just asking questions. People who survive Death Yard, they don't talk about Death Yard. I ain't going back out there. I suggest you don't either. But I, he knows I have done it, though, because I've got here in the first place. I mean, <laughs> this guy's mad. This guy is so defeatist. This is what I mean like this guy's attitude, though. You think about it, like, everyone that has got here has gone through the Deathlands, so you can clearly get out of it again. It's not a big deal. But anyway, apart from that, it should be morning very shortly. Trying to mess with their lights. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Wait, why is there like a proper street lamp in the middle of this this universe? <laughs> what? How's this happened then? I don't know. Is it morning yet? I think in a few minutes. What do we want to look first? Probably the 
trading shop to see what backpacks they have. We need at least two. We need one for RTD2 and one for Hobbs. That was the glitchiest sound I've ever heard in my entire life. Hello, friend! What have you got then? Uh, he have a scavenger backpack. I'm not sure if these stack. So I'm not... Uh, it's less money, so I don't think it's not. But he hasn't really got that many backpacks for a guy that's meant to sell backpack, which is kind of sad. Uh, yeah, because don't, I don't like using these on regular guys, because I mean we have negative speed penalties and stuff, but only a little bit. I guess it's not much of a dip. Oh, we'll keep, we leave it as it is right now. Okay, that shop's kind of a bust, so you got you suck, sir. You suck. There's a robot repair shop in here. Or just, I think, just general building supplies as well. Yeah, just general stuff, whatever. Armor shop. This could be interesting. Very nice. He actually has some actual armor. Uh, of course, I think we're still probably a bit too level to have the armor. But at least we know we can maybe buy some in the future. These helps are pretty handy, though. Um, It's not actually that much, either. Because it gives us protection against quite a few things there. That could be handy to get. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. What else did you have again? Quite a few things. Quite a few things. I want to see if there's like a really cool item we can get. Like, we'll definitely check the... There's a clothes shop here. Just general clothes again. But these are pretty good though, because I always try and eventually get myself some better like under, under arms, because it makes you a lot more protected against certain types of damage. I mean, you sort of Jeff. Sometimes Jeff like gets rid of like two thirds of the damage against them. It's pretty awesome. Uh, bow shop. Ooh. <laughs> damage. 68 to 100. Now, you got to bear in mind, Izumi can already hit for 100 damage with her damage, uh, with only 55 damage in her bow. This is a monster. Range, 174 meters. This is like, last time I got an upgrade, it was massive. This is that same thing again with this. The problem with this is it does require long bolts, but we can just buy some long bolts. It's not a big deal. I feel like we're going to buy this, though. We'll definitely buy this. Uh, and we'll probably recruit Beep. Well, of course we'll recruit Beep. And we'll probably give him my current bow and make them both be bow people. It'll be fine. And last up. That's really awesome. That's there. That is a good bow. That is a really good bow. Definitely worth the money. I guess there's also going to be a weapon shop somewhere. Or did I miss it? Is there no weapon shop? Ah. Aha! Aha! We haven't got enough money for both. I think the bow is more important than the other one because the Izumi's new damage. But we also probably want to look for a hacker as well. Heavy weapon. Hackers. We'll consider it. We'll consider it. We'll see what we can do with bu buying and selling and stuff. And we'll see what we end up with in the end. But everybody, I think that's probably going to be today's episode. Uh, we've made some pretty good progress. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 why can't I beep back? Uh, hi, beep. How do you know my name? <laughs> you just said beep. It was a guess. I'm a genius. You must be. I I just said that. Yes. Yes, I am. Can I join you? I want to become strong. Become a swordsman. You don't look very strong. You don't even have a weapon. Do you have any skills? I have nothing. <laughs> Uh, they exiled me from the hive. I don't blame them, though. No. Just because you keep saying beep? I am defective. Not a good for hive. But beep does not give up. Beep is strong. Since I left the hive, I can feel my mind changing. The way I think. The way I beep. I feel free. Having thoughts I've never had before, such as beep. I want freedom, but everywhere I go, things try to kill or chase me. That's Kenshi in a nutshell, my friend. Beep is tired of running. Chai, time to stab things. That can chase me. Another weak nobody. How much money do you want? Money? I don't know what that means. Welcome to the team! <laughs> Beep! Somebody's dying out there. Bogman. 
And what are they attacking? Can I get there with my camera? Ah, oh, it's an escape slave. That's so sad. No. And off they go. They will be eaten somewhere. Oh no, there's lo they got loads of them. This is what I was saying. Even though the battle's still going on, they just loot and run away with you and you just get eaten somewhere. It's absolutely disgusting. Um, but that's for us to try and avoid next episode, everybody. So apart from that, we now have Beep with us. Beep has skills in absolutely nothing. He's absolutely awful. Uh, we'll, pro we'll probably give him my hand handy ma ha uh, hand me down bow from Izumi. And maybe we'll give him like a katana or something. We'll see. Apparently he becomes Cyber Beep though if he loses his limbs. So we have to try and get him in a situation where he becomes a robot as well. I think it would be pretty funny. So we'll, we'll give it a shot. It'll be fine. But everybody, now it's actually the end of the episode. So thank you for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.